Our perspective of the universe is changing day by day along with the advancement in modern astrophysics. There was a time when it was believed that our earth was at the center of the universe and everything revolved around it. But these ideas changed with time and new ideas came. It's natural. During early 20th century, scientists believed that the universe was static and infinite. Albert Einstein introduced a positive cosmological constant to the equation of general relativity to stay in line with the idea of a static universe. But eventually, this idea also changed along with the invention of new technologies. In 1929, Edwin Hubble published an extraordinary paper that explained the redshift distance relation in detail. Let me explain. The universe is not static at all. It is expanding at a mind-boggling speed. Everything in this universe is drifting away from one another. And the speed of this drift depends on the distance between two cosmic objects. The picture of this universe is yet not complete. Many questions are there that need to be resolved. But why am I saying all this? I am saying this to show to what extent Hindu creation stories resemble the modern astrophysical concept of creation. But before that, if you frequently watch my videos and enjoy them, then please consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video. I would also love to know what you guys think of this video, so please leave a comment. Ancient seers knew that human eyes and minds are limited by space-time. That's why it's practically impossible for them to understand the actual form and grandeur of this universe. A person needs divine vision or divya drishti to understand the universe deeply. Arjun was blessed with divine vision by Lord Krishna so that he could visualize his friend Krishna in his complete cosmic form. Did the composers of Rig Veda have this divine vision too? I guess they did. As per Hindu ideas, the whole universe is prana or energy. But due to human limitations, we can't see everything. From a scientific standpoint, we can say that human eyes are able to see light only within the red to violet spectrum. There are a lot of things in the space that can't be seen. For example, we can't see the infrared or ultraviolet part of the spectrum. Dark matter and dark energy can't be seen as well, as they only interact with gravity, not with light and the ordinary matter. Also, we can't see or feel the space itself. But according to Einstein, the space is the fabric of this universe, which gets carved by matter. Human eyes and senses are not capable of detecting them. Now, we will come to the Nasadiya Suktam of Rig Veda, which is also known as the Creation Hymn. This suktam is astonishing from a scientific point of view. It contains some exceptionally scientific and wise statements. It starts like this. Then, even nothingness was not, nor existence. Before the Big Bang, which is a well-accepted theory of creation, it is believed there was nothing. It is not like the Big Bang happened within space. No, actually the whole of space and time was created through the Big Bang. So even the nothingness or empty space wasn't there before creation. We can't comprehend what kind of state it was. Notice this suktam talks about cosmic water. If we take it literally, scientifically there is no cosmic water. At least till now we haven't discovered anything like that. But we need to remember these sages were not scientists. They were great visionaries. They were not interested in astrophysics. They were just trying to untangle the mystery of our very existence. So not everything they realized is literally correct. But a large portion of their vision sounds scientifically appropriate. At first, there was only darkness wrapped in darkness. All 
this was only unillumined water that one which came to be enclosed in nothing arose at last born of the power of heat it says in the beginning there was only darkness wrapped in darkness everything arose or came to existence from nothing modern quantum physics also says that everything was created from nothing yeah our common experiences don't support this idea but in the quantum realm it actually happens in the beginning desire descended on it that was the primal seed born of the mind this tensor claims that desire was the seed that led to this gigantic creation now this is a highly philosophical assumption and we don't yet have any scientific data to support this observation and they have stretched their cord across the void this stanza clearly says that the cord was stretched across the void if we look at the big bang theory then it clearly says that the whole of the universe was concentrated in a teeny tiny infinitely dense ball of energy this small point expanded across the void and created the space time within which we all reside but after all who knows and who can say whence it all came and how creation happened this stanza is really exciting for me it says but after all who knows and who can say how creation happened look at this humble confession and wise attitude the seer is not saying that he has got some god given knowledge and he is the one that knows the absolute truth it is actually true that no one actually knows how the creation happened finally this him says he who surveys it all from the highest heaven he knows or maybe even he does not know so the seer open mindedly concluded that it is possible that even god doesn't know how this creation happened can you imagine this level of wisdom it takes courage to say or just think of such things even today whatever science says is nothing but data based assumptions why am i saying assumption because there are a thousand of questions that haven't been answered yet the more we are looking for knowledge about the universe the more complex it appears so after all these we can definitely conclude that ancient hindu sages had a pretty good idea about this universe and the way it operates it's overwhelming because the time we are talking about is 1500 bce they didn't have the assistance of modern technologies back then that's it for today i'll keep coming with such interesting videos again and again but before that please do like share and subscribe and also let me know what you think about this video thank you